we made it. It's the last day of October, October 31st. And yes, I'm going to a costume party, but I promised to give you a roadmap today on assimilating all the information I gave you. And since this, this is the last day of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which you know, we scratch that word awareness out, no more awareness. One out of three men will get cancer and one out of two women will be diagnosed with cancer. So awareness is not working. The $90 billion or more that you know these cancer organizations have raised is not working. So we want to seek prevention and we want to seek a cure. I'm on a mission. My brother died of melanoma and I am on a mission to find true prevention and true cure because we are all susceptible. It's not genetic. It's like a teeny tiny percentage that's genetic they're finding out. It's environmental and many people, it's their lifestyle. So I'm gonna give you the roadmap today. And um, you know, dressed as a flapper, most videos are boring. Maybe some of my videos were boring. Maybe all of them were boring. But what the heck, man? Not today, because the flapper is representing and showing you the roadmap to healing. I'm gonna make it really short and simple and sweet so that y'all can get on with your day and um, have a simple roadmap. The first roadmap to healing, remember, is nutrition. You've got to reorganize and rethink what you eat if you're eating crap. So, nutrition, nutrition. Bye bye to sugar. I didn't eat sugar for nine months. Cancer loves sugar. And honestly, if it's okay, um, eat sugar and feed cancer, don't eat sugar and don't feed cancer. So, hmm, what's, what's gonna win? The not eating it, it's a no brainer. And really, from this day forward, the rest of my life, I need to stay away from sugars. Do I all the time? No, but I make a very, very conscious effort. When I was going through treatment, zero sugar. And then also whole foods. I mean, come on, it's not brain surgery. If it's whole, whole vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, very little fruit because fruit is sugar. It's nature's candy. Yes, it's a lot better than a Snickers bar, but it's still, we don't want to be overeating on the fruit end and not getting our veggies. So nutrition. The next one is choose joy because trust me, life sucker punches us out of the blue sometimes. It's not, sometimes it's our doing. Doesn't mean it's fair. Sometimes it's not our doing at all. And that's when it really sucks, and that's when you really got to choose joy. So, joy. Some people like to think of it as gratitude, finding something you're thankful for in your day, um, attitude of gratitude, joy. Like, sometimes it's just one thing you can find in your day that can bring your heart some joy. But choose it, find it, seek it. you got to do that for your sanity. And then this one right here is surround yourself with people. I said no isolating. So people, let them love on you, let them serve you, let them help you, instead of saying no, 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 and being embarrassed or ashamed or uh, proud, that's a biggie. Let people help you, love on you, help you, and um, oh, and I'm gonna backtrack. We're gonna take the car back here to Joy. And really, they kind of relate with both of these. To get out of our, our, our funk and our isolation, do random acts of kindness for people. Serve people. How can you help people? It's one of the best ways to get out of our, you know, whether it's sadness or frustration or confusion, depression, is serving other people. So does somebody need a ride? Does somebody need a smile in their day? Any way we can think of how to help somebody. Doesn't always mean a monetary way, although that could be one of them. So finding joy is many times helping other people. It's a beautiful way we think we're blessing others, which we are, but many times they're blessing us so much more in return. And the same with people. They bless us, but guess what? We're blessing them too through our struggles and our challenges and just rising above. And the final one, I wanna do it with my orange pen because this is such a happy bright color these are all great shift what you're eating choosing joy is a biggie and then surround yourself with people that will help you but the secret sauce to all this it's no mystery what I'm gonna say what do you think I'm gonna say 
Okay, the whole glue for all of this and making your roadmap to healing um, easier, I'm just gonna say easier, is putting God over all God. We've got to take it to God. Can people do it without God? Mm, probably. It's going to be a lot more miserable and, and uh, more difficult. Because God tells us in, in the book of Matthew, it says, um, with God, all things are possible. Even when it seems insurmountable and another tsunami coming our way, God can make the impossible possible. So, God, I want to make that really, really, really legible. With God, all things are possible, and he's the one we draw our supernatural strength when we have no more strength. Peace when we don't feel like we have peace. Hope and joy and perseverance when we feel like we can't put one foot in front of the next one in the next moment. Please go to God. You, can, you don't need to go to crystals. You don't need to go to Buddha, Mohammed, whatever all those you know artificial things are out there. Please just go straight to God. He's waiting. He's waiting for you every second of every day. So there's your roadmap, roadmap to healing, nutrition, joy, people, and God. So with that said, I'm off to a costume party and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your year, and really finish out this year healthier than you've ever been as far as the choices that you're making. So choose joy. Choose joy, everybody. Photo, screenshot. And God bless.